Welcome back to Undertale. I'm getting to the important parts quickly. Some parts just I don't even know. So, and some parts just get lost. I don't understand. This recording software is just like broken sometimes. It doesn't tell me when it stops. It doesn't tell me when it starts sometimes. I mean, seriously. Oh well, let's just go and do this stuff. Maybe the final episode, guys. It has a heart shaped block in the box. We take it, sure. Uh, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. Hmm. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs number 98. It's a clothes store. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Hmm. It's a Baru. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Interesting. It's Ascor's journal. All the current page says it's a nice day today. And the ink is still almost wet. Hmm. It's a king size bed. Oh, I see. Macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Hmm. It's a golden flower. Despite everything, it's still you. Cool. Room under renovations. Hmm. It's a drawing of a golden flower. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. Cool. It's a lot of sharp shirts in here. It's a twin size bed. Dusty toys. Alright. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Hmm. We're telling another undertale? It's a golden flower. The coals are still warm. Photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. This looks just like Torium's house, but great. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Check the key, but I don't keep Oh, drop fair clean, someone must use fire magic instead. There's some white fur stuck in dirty. Nasty. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. It's a trash can. It's full of crumbled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Speaking of butterscotch pie, I need more items. Um. Yes. Unlocked the keychain. It's an old calendar from the end of 2000. Uh, the date is circled on it. Then one day, the human became very ill. Oh lord. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Next day, the next day, uh, the human died. Oh, that's sad. Asriel wrapped with grief 
absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Hmm. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto bits. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed them, child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow, with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But, Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Hmm. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Jeez, I don't want to die. I mean, I have once, but I... it's not long now. King Asgore will give us the hope to save us all. Let's go. Hmm. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? That I'm the one that's really gonna die. You're going to be free. Uh huh. Alright. Hey, it's Sands. Huh. <sighs> so you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You'll be judged for your every experience you've earned. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain that you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your experience increases. When you have enough execution points, your love increases. Love too is an acronym. Acro level of violin. Oh, okay. Um. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Huh. But you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you keep a certain tenderness in your heart, no matter the struggles or hardships you faced. You strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained any love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Hm. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Hasker would take your soul and destroy humanity. 
but if you kill Asgore and go home, once we will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown the towel by now. But you didn't get this far you're giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Yes. Alright, Dylan. Throne room. I'll see you guys in the next episode. This was surprisingly not the last episode. I call it Judgment Day.